Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be looking at white balance in Capture One Pro. This is a photo I shot of Alexis in downtown Los Angeles. I wanna show you guys how I would white balance it and fine tune it for the final result. So the first thing we're gonna do here is come up to this pencil icon, just like Lightroom. We can actually look to see if how this white balance is looking good. You can notice it actually did change it. So we can keep just kind of playing around with it, seeing if we like where the white balance is and what we want to do. So I'm actually liking the white balance from actually down here at the bottom. It's about the same. You can come up here and notice what rating I'm getting at 5196 as well as 5231. But let's take it about, I would say right there at 5209. Now remember that tint, we're sitting at 0 0.8. We're gonna adjust a few more things. So we're gonna actually bring up the exposure just a tad. And I also wanna bring up the shadows a little bit just to bring in the details into those blacks because I don't like to crush the blacks. And what we can also do too is I notice that there is a little bit of darkening going on up here. So we can actually come up here to this and we can actually do a linear gradient mask so we can bring this down just like that, okay? And we're gonna actually come up here to our layers, all right? And we're gonna come up here to where it says, you see where it says adjustment layer one? We're gonna come down here to exposure and we're gonna actually just raise that just a bit, okay? Because we want to have the image balanced. Now we can come back to the background and that is how the image is looking. Obviously in our keyboard, we can hit our backslash or slash however you want to call it and we can actually go before and after before after before and after so i would say that image is overall ready to export and if you guys have any more questions about this please leave it down below i'd love to talk about it i'll see you guys in the next one